Tiffany Hatters appeared to be enjoying her last giggle as she criticized Common's connection to Jennifer Hudson. Because it appears that Common and Jennifer recently announced their separation in the most terrible and disgusting way imaginable. I'm assuming that everyone is aware of the past two years of Common and Jennifer Hudson's relationship. It appears that Jennifer played Common recently. Because rumors have it that when he proposed, Jennifer gave him a big fat N.O.P.E. and crushed his tiny heart beneath her boot. Tiffany, though, isn't very sorry for Common. Actually, she's been making fun of him and throwing a lot of shade at him. Tiffany has surpassed your expectations in terms of clumsiness and pettiness. Is she prepared? It appears that Tiffany harbored feelings for Common, as the latter recently ended his relationship with Jennifer Hudson. Since they first started dating, Tiffany has publicly criticized their relationship, and it doesn't seem like much has changed. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding the relationship. During the pandemic, Tiffany and Common dated for almost a year. Common initially attempted to assert that their breakup was amicable, citing that their hectic schedules made it difficult for them to stay in a relationship. Tiffany, however, said that Common had taken her by surprise when they broke up, stating, it was the healthiest and most enjoyable relationship I have ever had. Out of all the relationships I've been in, this is the one where I felt the safest. There was no mutual split. He was essentially stating, I believe this relationship has reached its peak. And I wondered, how are you going to be 50 years old and single, all right? Furthermore, she implied that Carmen was not the kind to genuinely get married because he struggled with commitment. Perhaps, like a bee, he is visiting flowers one after the other. I'm not positive. All I want for her is the best happiness and joy. But everything looked to be going great for Common until he started dating Jennifer Hudson. Furthermore, it seems that he was already giving Jennifer a lot of thought. More than he'd ever given any of the previous women. Even well-known women in positions of authority. As you can see, Common has a reputation as something of an industry player, having defeated a number of well-known women. Tara G.P. Henson, Erica Badu, Serena, Angela Rye, and numerous other women. But according to recent rumors, Jennifer might be reconsidering their relationship and might even have split up with him. It's common to not be able to handle it at all. She's also informing you that she won't be there. All okay, everything is fine. Allow me to transport you back to their initial dating phase, when Jennifer genuinely attempted to conceal their bond from others. They got together while filming a movie. Breathing together, flames raced between them in an instant. According to a source who revealed the details of their developing affair, they had been friends for a very long time. While they were spending the summer filming in Philadelphia, things started to get amorous. They would always be by each other's sides when the filming day came to a close. Jennifer, who was well known for hiding her personal connections, reiterated the same line that they were just friends while denying ever being in a relationship. Individuals concoct tales about it. He was the actor that I married in a movie that we both shot. Between those times, we have to eat it. Yes, Jennifer. Yes, it's obvious that was a big deception because they continued to be seen together on dates even after the film ended. Common traveled a great distance to London for the debut of her show, A Strange Loop, as their friendship grew. Everyone who attended the premiere could see that they were special. Someone stated, it's been months of speculation whether they are together or not, but the fact that they went all the way to London together just proves they're very much in a relationship. To avoid causing any trouble, they came at the concert apart, but despite being out of sight, they were still very much in each other's presence. So, they carried on with their relationship's devious game until a few months ago, when he made an appearance as a guest on her show. After more than a year of playing hide-and-seek, they eventually confessed to one another. Are you dating anyone? <laughs> so, yes. And I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart. She loves God. She has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented. But but I set I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an E-God. She, she 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 had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah. As was already said, Jennifer keeps the details of her relationships very private. She gave off the idea that they were very solid and that their tie was stronger than before. She appeared excited to proclaim their connection to the public. Subsequent accounts suggest that Common was thinking along similar lines when he proposed to her, given that she openly rejected him due to his playboy background, especially given her history of being burnt by love. For those who might not be aware or may have forgotten, 
Jennifer spent 10 years dating a man by the name of David Otunga. Yes, he's the same David Otunga that was after everyone in New York. Yes, Flavor Flavs, I do genuinely adore New York City. He was on the show, yes. Despite having a happy ever after beginning, their relationship rapidly deteriorated, and at one point the police were called. After they started dating in 2007, things progressed rather quickly. Before we knew it, on Jennifer's 27th birthday in September 2008, David proposed to her, and they appeared to be the ideal fit. Unfortunately, tragedy struck not long after Jennifer accepted. Her brother-in-law killed her mother, brother, and nephew a few weeks later. It seemed like a dream come true. David was by Jennifer's side the entire time. He was her rock and the person she turned to when she needed someone to weep on. However, Jennifer announced her pregnancy to the world later that year, and when their son David Jr. was born in 2009, their lovely little family was created. However, they had been engaged for more than a year by the time 2010 rolled around. Naturally, everyone began to wonder when this amazing day would arrive. Rumors reportedly circulated that they intended to get married that year. However, nothing occurred, and the ensuing two years of silence were excruciating. In 2012, there was an unprecedented level of conjecture on the activities occurring behind closed doors. However, there was still no news of their intended wedding as of 2014. Additionally, allegations that their relationship had changed were spreading more frequently. After concluding they could no longer maintain the front, they eventually declared their split in 2017. There had been some indications, looking back, that David might not be who Jennifer believed him to be. Precisely when Jennifer had alluded to his lack of self-assurance. She said that looking back, David wasn't exactly delighted with her shedding weight and glamming up, which ought to have raised a lot of red light. When Jennifer went to see Jay Leno, she was asked, what does your fiancé think? Does he find your increased slimness impressive? Jennifer shot back, saying he's getting used to it. He questions why I have to get all suited up to go out and why I can't simply stroll out like you used to, becoming irritated with me since he doesn't like change. I'm thinking, honey, I feel like a walking billboard right now. To myself. Jennifer's relationship with David deteriorated even further after their split, and she accused David of robbing her. She claimed that David had become combative with her on a few occasions, particularly when their relationship was deteriorating. She went on to say that he was extremely jealous, which was why he was paranoid. Then David made his own accusations, that Jennifer had cheated on him with many business people. He even used their son as a spy on Jennifer since things got that nasty. Jennifer recalled this one occasion when they were in the studio with their son, and David had supposedly talked him into videotaping her. Jennifer claims that David warned the youngster, don't let your mom's boyfriend ever touch you, when he sensed that the boy was developing feelings for one of her producers. Jennifer apparently thought David may turn there and stir trouble, so much so that she summoned security. Fortunately, David did not show up. In addition, Jennifer said that when she was in the studio, David would SMS her threatening messages. But the drama didn't end there. Things quickly heated up when she revealed that he was waiting for her when she got home. It was, to put it nicely, quite the scene when he allegedly became aggressive, seizing their son and dragging her about. On the other hand, David presented an entirely different narrative and charged Jennifer with staging the incident to appeal to the public's compassion, particularly given her devoted fan base. His attorney refuted all of Hudson's accusations against him in a statement provided to DMZ. He also disputed that, in contrast to what Hudson claimed, Mr. Otsunga ever physically shoved Miss Hudson. He was adamant that he was angry with Jennifer because he believed she had neglected their son. He claimed that Jennifer found it amusing to leave her child in a recording studio till the early hours of the morning before classes started. His only want was for the child to go to bed on time so he could be rested and ready for school the following day. He contends that his grievance stems from ethical parenting, not from possessiveness or envy. Nor did Jennifer's actions end there. She also talked about another strange incident where he allegedly tried to control her by playing around with her head and setting a gun on the kitchen table. But should we examine this first? Jennifer had experienced some very horrific gun-related incidents in the past. On the same day, gun violence killed her mother, brother, and nephew. It is certainly odd that he would leave a weapon sitting about like it was no big issue. David refuted the claims made by DV and his attorneys issued a second statement in which they maintained that Mr. Otunga had never mistreated or harassed Meth Hudson or their kid, and that it was regrettable that she felt compelled to level such unjustified charges against him in light of the circumstances at hand. The party's lone child will be receiving residential care, and Mr. Otunga is looking forward to his court appearance. After this interaction, Jennifer definitely had a bad taste in her mouth, which helps to understand why she would be hesitant to officially announce Common's relationship. According to a source, Jennifer decided that marriage was not in her future and that she would never tie the knot once her engagement ended.
but when Common entered her life, she instantly fell in love. Common tells Jennifer that he is committed to the relationship despite his previous connections with other famous women. However, Jennifer, who was nine years engaged, went through similar feelings and is unwilling to start over following a disastrous marriage. However, who is most likely merely enjoying this tea and popcorn? That is, Tiffany Haddish. According to an insider, she believes that this is Common's way of retaliating against him for being so cruel to her and shattering her heart, and she finds it amusing to think of him suffering because that is just what he did to her. Surprisingly, Jennifer's supporters are in favor of her declining Kameen. They also admire Kameen, and they claim that I advised her to either end the relationship or repress her emotions. Kameen seems like a happy and tragic person. She's smart, in my opinion, to go cautiously. In my opinion, Jennifer Hudson ought to maintain her vigilance and keep a watch on Kama. Though he doesn't seem honorable to me. He has a certain something that fits. Who knows what will or may not be revealed in 2024? And I'm so happy that she's awake at 93 and aware of the real issues she faces. Intelligent lady. If Kama truly believes Jennifer is the love of his life, then that's terrible. Given that it appears Jennifer doesn't enjoy being the focus of attention while Kama is there. However, I must hear your thoughts on this. Which would you rather have, J-Hood by himself or Kama and J-Hood together? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel.